Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Slickmoth, back again with another video, and I'm really excited to bring you this one. We are playing some raid, no, excuse me, not raid, slump, search and destroy, and um, we're going to be talking strategy. So as you can see right here, straight off the bat, I got a tip for you. You can see who has control of blue. They do. There is no point in me rushing in here. Straight from the start, I had a plan where to go. This round, and look, very fast reflexes is very important to this game. You have to have fast reflexes. How many times have you shot people in the back while they're capturing a flag and they don't even move? They're just like, oh, I hope he doesn't shoot. He doesn't keep shooting me or he runs out of ammo. You know, turn around. You know what I'm saying? Here is very important as well. As I can see, my friend finally went is looking at the front. So what am I watching? The side. And now he's watching the side. So what am I doing? I'm rotating. This is very important. It's just, you know, a lesson on map control. And I see my buddy right here. Look at what is very important about this play. I'm using him as bait. As you can saw right there, I just got a kill. Why? Because I used him as bait. If he is running out and he's by the A bomb and I'm inside the blue building, who is that guy that just walked up the stairs going to shoot the bad guy? Who is he going to shoot? Is he going to shoot me? Who's inside blue or the guy in the wide open? I think the answer is pretty simple. All right, guys, finally slowing it down. Sorry, I had like four things to say, and, you know, I've only got one thing to say per round now. So the one complaint I have for me this round and, you know, the whole rest of the game really is that I'm not patient enough. You know, it's very easy to get high uh, on that, you know, adrenaline and just rush on in but uh that's what i do here i just simply get too cocky and uh, this guy is you know playing a very smart move and you may call it camping but it really isn't it's just strategically waiting for me and as a result they they get the round so uh, now I'm d i i kind of learned from my mistake and i'm slowly pushing up into blue one uh, complaint I have for this game as well, you know, when I'm picking these games, I'm not picking a flawless game where I go, you know, 15-0 and in S&D. I'm picking games that I do good things right that I can point out to you, things I do wrong as well. Uh, one, oh, there's two people r right there. Very important uh, thing for me to point out. There's two people, so I back off and I get behind this truck. And this way, I only have to deal with one of them. Couldn't get him, unfortunately. Notice how I'm aware of my surroundings. Uh, I'm checking behind me. I'm checking to the side. And I... That guy that walked through cemetery there uh, would have killed me if I wasn't paying attention. But luckily, I'm turning around and I'm not doing what's called tunnel vision, essentially. And it's very easy to just look at one door. It would have been very easy for me just to aim down my sights into blue and wait for that guy to pop up. I probably would have killed him. But the fact of it is, the higher chances of it are, is that some guy's going to flank me from behind. Because, you know, no matter if it looks like your teammate's arrows are over there, you simply just can't trust that. Because he's just going to kill your pal and gonna kill you and get a nice double kill on you and that's never good so this round you see me take a slightly different approach and it's pretty much the same concept every single round getting a head glitch and that's just the way I roll and that's the way every good player rolls and you'll notice that throughout time you take advantage of the what the game has to offer you I'm not talking one man army danger close noob tubes I'm not talking gay attachments I'm just talking about or you know gay setups I'm just talking about taking advantage of the positions that the game offers you. This is a move I really don't like in going into mid and I push out immediately. But if you think about it again, look at where my teammates are. One's over by that, ro that right choke point uh, over here by B-bomb. I believe it is. Yeah, B-bomb. And the other is over by A-bomb. So all I have to worry about is this area called Cemetery, which I'm pushing into right now. The only reason I'm in here is because my guinea pig's in there. I like to use people as bait. People are not as smart as me, so I will take advantage of it until people learn, and that will never happen, I guarantee it. Not unless you watch my YouTube videos. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so you notice how people say a lot, especially with his gamer tag. You know what they say, stick to the edges of the map. I take it literally, and you'll notice that in my gameplay. I am literally hugging the wall. I have three sides to worry about, and you know, not anymore, but because I felt that statue was safe, I didn't get check it. But when I, but when I say stick to the outsiders of the map, I mean it literally. Because these people will sit in the craziest corners you could ever imagine, and especially in a game like S and D, if you're doing any flank, you gotta make sure that you're in control of the area that you're flanking. So notice, as soon as I get this kill behind the B bomb, I ditch. That's very important. I let this guinea pig take control of my spot, and that's the uh, imposter slick off. And I'm pretty sure he gets naded. Uh, no, he box, he backs off. So he's not that dumb. So this round, I completely just boss these kids up. I'm on top of statue. I think I get five of them. And, uh, you know, notice we're, we're kind of in control, and I'm playing sloppy Call of Duty, but it doesn't really matter because we're up 6-0, to oh, and, you know, we are completely chasing down this poor guy into his spawn, and I'm going to one-burst him with the B2-3. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Just a quick little S&D video, and I got a lot of tips that I hope you could uh, take away from. Uh, my last couple videos going to be linked in the description below, and we'll see you later, guys. My name's Slickmoth. Peace out.